Good day everyone. Our topic for today is about switch case statement. We'll compare if statement and switch case statement in C++ by solving the same problem in different ways. Let's try to explore their strengths and weaknesses through multiple examples to help us understand when to use if statement and when to use switch case statements. In C++, an if statement allows us to execute the block of code based on the condition. If the condition is true, the code inside the if the code inside the if block execute and run. We can also use else if or else to add multiple condition. Okay, next, so what is a switch case statement? A switch case statement is another way to control a program flow based on the value of the variable. And like in if statements, a switch case only works with a discrete value like integer or a character, not a, not a complex condition like relational operator. Okay? Like for example, yung ginagamit natin in an if statement, the greater than, the less than, or the and the uh, logical operators. So here's the syntax of a switch case statement. So ito yung uh, syntax natin for a switch case statement. We have the keyword switch and we have the keyword case. So dito natin nilalagay yung expression natin. Again, the expression is either an integer or a character. If the value of expression match to the case, halimbawa sana nagmatch siya into a case, ang gagawin niya is to execute the case. Okay? Then we use break to break a case to end the case. Same with the end line, kung baga sa statements. But in this one, we use break to break the case. After the execution of the body, ang gagawin niya is to break the case. Para hindi na siya magtuloy in other cases. And the third, def the third default word is the default. So para sa naman yung default, this is the same logic with the else. Kung walang cases yung mag-equal kay expression, ang gagawin niya is to execute the default. Okay? So again, we have three keywords, like the first one switch, case, and then default. Again, ilalagay natin yung expression inside the parenthesis. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, the expression is either an integer or a character. If the expression is equal to the value of the cases, it execute the case. Kung limbawa sana is equal siya sa value 1, ang gagawin niya is to execute the first case. If all the cases are not equal to the expression, ang mag-execute naman is the default. So that is the logical the logical flow of a switch case statement. Okay, our first example is printing the day of the week based on the number input by the user. Let's see how it's done using but if and the switch case statement. As you can see, this method works well, but it has a it has a lot of repeated condition. So if you can see, if the value of the if the value of the day is equal to one, it displays Monday. If the value of the if the value of the day is equal to two, it display it displays Tuesday and so on. So, kung titignan, there's a lot of perfected condition. Like, for example, equal to 1, equal to 2, equal to 3, equal, equal to 4, and so on. And hanggang umabot siya ng 7. So, technically, mag, nagkaroon siya ng, yun nga, nagkaroon ng repeated conditions. But then again, we solve the problem using the if else if statements. So let's try to run this code. Again, it works well. Kaso nga lang, kung papansinin, in a good practice of programming, nagkakaroon kasi siya ng, re ng repeated condition. So let's try to run kung kaya nga niyang isolve yung problem natin. So let's try to run and then check kung anong kaya niyang gawin. So kaya niyang maka pwede siyang mag-accept ng integer based on our code. So if I try to, to dis I want to display Friday, ang gagawin ko lang is to input 5 and then if I press 
enter, of course, hahanapin niya based on my condition kung nasaan yung true condition. Technically, the first condition is false, the second condition is false, the third condition is false, the fourth condition is for false. And pagpunta niya sa fifth condition, day, which is the value of the days, 5 is equal to 5. So this is true. Ang mag execute dito is Friday. So then again, yung kung titignan to, maraming repeated condition. Now let's try to uh, let's try to solve the following pro uh, problem using a switch case statement. So this is this is our solution using the switch case statement. So if you can see, the same pa rin tayo ng input wala na bago. But ang nabago lang is the whole conditional statement. Kanina ang ginamit natin is the if else if else statement which is nagkaroon ng repeated condition. Now, using the switch case statement, ang gagawin na lang is to satisfy a case. Again, meron tayo kanina sa syntax, which is meron tayong ilalagay dito, which is either a an integer or a character. So, ngayon, if the value of the switch is equal to the case, salimbawa sana is equal to 1, ang gagawin niya is to execute Monday. But if the value of the day is equal to 2, it execute Tuesday. And so on. If 3, Wednesday, 4, Thursday, Friday, 5, then 6 if Saturday. So, ang mangyayari, instead of using a conditional operators or the relational operator, ang ginagawa na lang is to make a cases. Again, ang pwede lang natin, pwede lang natin gawing case is either an integer or an integer or a character. So, let's try to run this one. Then, before we run this one pala, ito yung sinasabi kong default. So, same siya sa example natin kanina. Instead of using else, ang ginagamit na dito in switch case statement is default. So, ibig sabihin, kung walang na-satisfy na cases, ang mag -e execute is the default. Okay? So, let's try to run this one. So, i natin and then try natin paganahin yung default. So, alimbawa sana, yan, move natin dito. So, like for example, I enter 8. So, technically, based on this instruction, enter a number 1 to 7. So, I, en I enter 8. So, 8 goes to variable day. So, based on our cases, wala dito na-identify na case 8. So, ibig sabihin, kung wala na-satisfy na case, ang mag execute is the default. So, magdi-display dito is invalid input please enter a number from 1 to 7. So, ito. Invalid input please enter a number between 1 to 7. Which is saan nang galing to? It came from the part of our switch case which is the default. Okay? So, we have a we have a key features of a switch case statements. Well, nabanggit ko naman na kanina, pero let's uh, dictate ulit natin what is the key features of a switch case statement. First one is only works with integer and characters. It doesn't support a floating point number or a conditional conditional operator like uh, greater than, less than, or less than or equal to. Same sa ginagamit natin in an if, if, if statements. The second one is used as a break statement. It, its case must end with a break to prevent fall through. So, we need to use break para hindi na siya mag fall through going to the other cases. The last one is has a default case. Ito, same with the uh, if else statement. Meron tayong default case. If all the cases is equal to false or hindi masatisfy yung mga cases, ang mag -e execute is the default case. Again, the first one is only works with integer and character. The second one is you use as break statements. And then last one is has a default case. Okay, so that's the key features of a switch case statements. So what happens if we, what happens if we don't use break? Break sa switch case yun, ibig sabihin. Okay, so what happens if we don't use breaks? So, limbawa sana, we remove the breaks. If we remove breaks, ang mangyayari, if we run this code, it will print choice 
from first choice na masasatisfy down sa mga susunod pang mga cases na nasa baba niya. So, let's try para makita natin. So, ano mangyayari if we remove the brakes? Pwede bang tanggalin yung brake? Yes, pwede. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong downfall which is ang mangyayari magkakaroon ng fall through. Okay? Ayan. So, tanggal lang ako ng brakes. Brakes and then brakes and brakes. Well, para mas makita natin instead of statement line lang. I-end natin yung line. End line. Then, copy na lang natin to. Copy natin to. Para mas makita lang natin kung saan nangyayari yung fall through. If we don't break the case. Okay? Again, without the break, the cases will fall through. To prevent the fall through, ang nilalagay natin is cases. So, let's try to run para mas makita natin. Run. And then, ilagay natin sa 1. So, technically, ang masasatisfy is the case 1. Anong nasa baba ni case 1? Meron tayong case 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the default. So, if I enter this one, if I enter this one, kung titignan ninyo, it displays Monday, which is the equivalent of the case 1, which is the value of a day. Kaso, without the break, magpo-fall through siya going to the last condition hanggang sa default. So, kung titignan nyo, after it displays, we displays Monday, it displays Tuesday, which is belong to case 2, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even the default case, which is invalid input. So, dinisplay pa rin yan. So, ibig sabihin nun, without the break, ang mangyayari, magkakaroon ng tinatawag na fall through. Nakukuha po. Yan. So, that is the example of a switch cases uh, switch cases statement. So, bigay pa tayo ng isa, isang example pa. Okay. So, this is an example of a problem using range. Titignan, meron tayong greater than or equal to 90. Meron naman tayong uh, greater than or equal to 80 for the second condition and so on. So, kung titignan, in switch case statement, switch case statement, statement doesn't support a range. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, sinusupport lang niya is either integer or a character. So, if this is the problem, paano mo to isusolve in a switch case statement? So, many ways to solve solve it without using the relational operator. Like, for example, the greater than or greater than or equal to or an example of a relational operator. So, let's use Let's display on how to solve this, the following using a switch case statement. So, this is my solution in a switch case statement. Wait lang. Yeah, switch case statement. Okay, pause ulit natin. Nabura ko yung other part. Yeah. Okay, so this is my solution using a switch case statement. Then again, since switch case doesn't support range, marami naman tayong ways to solve the problem. Like for example, by using other formulas before the cases. So, my solution is to divide the score into 10 so that makukuha pa rin natin yung range. Okay? So, many ways, gaya na sabi ko, kaso nga lang, that's the weakness of the switch case statement. Hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng cases. Or hindi tayo, sorry, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng range. Or hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng relational operators or and illogical operator. Again, ang ina-accept lang using a case is either an integer or a character in a C++ condition. So, kung titignan, yung first na code natin kanina is using the range. Pero, pag ginamitan natin to ng switch case statement, hindi natin ito masosolve the way na nakikita natin using the if else statement so that's the weakness of a switch case statement to conclude this discussion uh, use if statement for a complex condition or range kung meron tayong uh, complex conditioning use the if statement and use the switch case when you need to check a variable against a multiple 
constant value again a constant value okay so that's the pros and cons using the if statements and the switch case statements for your attendance guys for your attendance uh na ulit ang attendance natin for your attendance uh what happens if we don't use break in switch case statements okay so that is your attendance sasagutin niyo lang yung tanong natin what happens if we don't use breaks in switch case statements okay so once, once again good day everyone and hope you listen to my recorded discussion